Are we all ready, everyone? Question five. Vectors. Um, right, listen, let's, let's make sure that we, we do this, because this isn't difficult. It's just that the way that we structured it was a little bit all over the place. So, so what we're going to do, we're going to be really careful that we're strict on how we do this, whether we're looking for it being skew or whether we're looking for it being intersecting. Uh, it, didn't, it didn't ask us to find so that they, they intersect, so we don't at this stage have to do anything here about um, talking about whether the lines are parallel or, or that kind of thing. We're just looking, do the, do the lines A and B, are they skew? So we assume that they intersect and prove that we get a contradiction. So if they, if they intersect, and what we do, we're just looking at A and B, remember? If they intersect, then, um, actually, do I want to write these out in a different way first? What we're saying is that 1, 4, 1 plus x minus 1, 2, 2 is equal to 2, 8, 2 plus t, 1, 3, 5. Remember what we're doing? We're, we're saying if they intersect, then this equation is true. If we get a contradiction, it means that the skew. So we compare the the i, j, and k coefficients of each side. So if we look at the i's, we've got 1 minus s is 2 plus t. If we look at the j's, we've got 4 plus 2s is 8 plus 3t. And k, we have 1 plus 2s is 2 plus 5t. Now, it's not really worth trying to shortcut your way through this. What we want to do is to pick two equations solve them, get the values of s and t for that pair of equations, and then show it in the, the other set. Um, I, I can't remember exactly what I did with this. Let's call them 1, 2, and 3. I think I looked at this and I thought, well, well hang on, this, there's quite an easy way into this. Looking at equations 2 and 3, if I do equation 2, if I do equation 3, take away equation 2, I eliminate s. So let's, let's do that straight away. Let's concentrate on those two equations. Equation 3 minus equation 2 gives me minus 3 is minus 6 plus 2t. So 3 equals 2t. So t is 3 over 2. I want to find the value of s that goes with that in one of these two equations. So let's sub that in. It doesn't matter which one I do it with. Let's do it in equation 3. 1 plus 2s is 2 plus 5 times 3 over 2. 15 over 2, give me 2s is, hang on, what is that? 17 over 2. So s is 17 over 4. Out of that. I think. I think we're, we're right with that. Um, and they, they gave lots of different options. That was, that was one of the options they gave. So we got three marks for getting those pair of values out of the five. Um, out of the four, yeah, we get three for getting that far. Now we've got to show that we've got a inconsistency, so we're going to use these two values in the first equation. In equation one, if t equals three over two, we have that one minus s we have one minus s equals 2 plus t, 2 plus 3 over 2. So that gives us, what does that give us? Minus s is 7 over 2, take away 1, so 5 over 2. S is minus 5 over 2, which is not the same as the value of s that we got from the other pair of equations. Only equal to 17 over 4. Inconsistent. Therefore, the lines are skewed. Okay. Um, then, now, part two of this, I, I think there's a bit that I maybe might have missed if I were working this out. How, how do I get this little line over the other side again? Right. Um, part two says. <laughs> oh no. Well done. 
Um, determine giving reasons the geometrical relationship between lines A and C. Okay? Let, let's write down what lines A and C are. Um, so A, uh, part two, A is the line, uh, can I pull your paper? A is the line R equals 1, 4, 1, plus S minus 1, 2, 2, and C is the line minus 1, 19, 15, plus U, 2, minus 4, minus 4. And there's a, there's a mean kind of sneaky little bit in here, because I think you did really, really well at noticing straight away that the direction vector involved here were related, that one is a, a multiple of the other. And so that gives us that, right, you said things along the lines of uh, 2 minus 4 minus 4 equals minus 2 times minus 1, 2, 2. And then you concluded that therefore the lines are parallel. The problem is that if these two vectors have the same direction vector, it's not just that they could be parallel. There are two things that could be true. They could be the same. They could be parallel, or they could be the same line. <coughs> so we need to show that they're not the same line before we conclude that they're parallel. Does that make sense? We've got to rule out the other option first. And all we have to do to rule out the other option now, parallel or the same, all we have to do is to show that, for example, the point 1, 4, 1 is on that line. Is the point 1, 4, 1 on that line? If it is, then they're the same line. They go through the same point. If it's not, they're parallel. So let's just do a, a really quick check <coughs> on that. <coughs> A goes through the point 1, 4, 1. So if we check it on the other line, 1, 4, 1 is minus 1, 19, 15, plus u times 2, minus 4, minus 4. Well, if you look at the i component there, you've got minus 1 plus 2 is 1, so u equals 1. But if you look at the j component, if u equals 1, then or does not equal 19 minus 4. And that's enough to show that they don't go through the same point, therefore they are parallel. I have maybe done too much detail there for only, for only two marks, but you have to at least acknowledge that they were the same line, as well as being parallel. And, and I, I actually, if you notice, some of the ones that I've marked I kind of missed that the first time. I just gave you two marks for saying that, that one was a multiple of the other and therefore they were parallel. And I thought, well, hang on, no, they're not. Done it. So a few of you have gone back and knocked a mark off and prayed. Um, I'm not sure. Did anybody actually state? I don't think anybody did. 